In this video, let's see what do we mean by order of a matrix. We have already seen and studied what do you mean by a matrix. What do you mean by basically the horizontal things that is the rows and the vertical ones which are the columns. Let's see a working example also and a brief analysis of what these terms mean. So I have drawn and represented one matrix in front of you. The name of the matrix is usually denoted by a capital letter. So here also the same thing is following. The name of the matrix is capital A. And this is a very big matrix. There are many rows, there are many columns. As you see, I have been writing A11, A12, A13 and so on till A1J and so on till A1N. The next row is what? A21, A22, A23, so on till A2J and then till A2N. Similarly, A31. And moving downwards, I have AI1, AI2, AI3 and so on till AIJ and AIN. Last but not the least row is AM1, AM2, AM3 and so on till AMN. So what is all this stuff? Remember, matrix is nothing but an arrangement wherein you have different rows and different columns. This is the first row. The horizontal things are the rows. So this is R1, which is the first row. Below A21, A22 and everything is what? It is the second row, that is R2. Then moving below, A31, A32 and so on is what? It is the third row. Then coming downwards, what do we notice? AI1, AI2 and so on. Now which row is it? Yes. My dear friends, you guessed it right because earlier we saw A11, 12, 13. What was common? 1 was common. So it was row number 1. In the next row, we saw A21, A22, A23, and so on. What was common? 2 was common. So it is row 2. In the next row, similarly for this case, it is AI1, AI2, AI3. So what is common? It is I which is common. So it is row i, it is the ith row and in the last but not the least case I have am1, am2, am3 and so on. What is common? m is common. So it is the mth row. So it is rm, that means the mth row. Now what about the columns? Let's work upon the columns also. So I have the metrics a11, A21, A31, AI1. Again, let's look at it. A11, A21, A31, AI1, AM1. What is common? 1 is common. Since it is vertical, it is column 1. Again, A12, A22, A32, AI2. What is common? 2. So it is column 2. Similarly, the next column would be column 3. Here what is the case? It is A1J, A2J, A3J and so on. J is common. So it is Jth column. Last but not the least, repeat it. A1N, A2N, A3N and so on. What is common? N is common. So it is column N. So that means the represented matrix is nothing but what? It is the matrix comprising of how many rows? The last row is M. How many columns? The last column is N. So there are M rows. There are N columns. So this matrix with M rows, N columns basically has how many number of elements? Number of elements in one row is N. Number of elements in any one column is M. And how many total number of elements? Total number of elements are basically the product that is M into N. Number of rows into number of columns. For those people who have still not got it, I'll be taking an example. But for those who have got it in the brief only, let's see the representation first. A matrix A is represented as what? It is represented as AIJ. 
where ayat row jayat column so the first thing that you write is the row see a11 first thing is 1 a12 first thing is 1 a13 first thing is 1 so the first thing was what r1 that means row so the first thing in the subscript is always the row so aij this is the first thing it will show me the row the second thing is j it will show me the column and outside you write mn that means rows into columns how many rows m rows so m is rows how many columns n columns so n is columns but what if you don't want to write rows and columns outside you just simply represent it as a is equal to aij so what all things we learned from this representation we learned many important things let's sum it up the first thing that i learned is number of rows the second thing that i learned is about the number of columns repeating again number of rows was what number of rows was how many rows are there how many rows are there how many rows first row second row third row till mth row so number of rows was represented by m so i write it is equal to m number of columns was represented by what how many columns were there c1 to cn so number of columns were represented by n and what about the representation i have aij this was the representation where iat row jat column this we already know next thing what did we come to know number of elements so number of elements or number of entries let's make s more beautiful number of elements or number of entries is what how many total number of elements are there it is equal to the product of m into n so that means the rows into columns so it is m into n one example for those who have not understood suppose i have a matrix a i have the elements listed as minus 1 1 0 5 right how many elements are there count them it is 1 2 3 4 4 four elements okay i write four elements how did i write four by counting what is the other way other way is to find m into m how many m's means what is the value of m the number of rows how many rows one two so m is two what about n n is columns first column second column so two columns now what is m into n m into n is 2 into 2 which is 4 match 4 here 4 here so number of elements is always and always equal to m into n means rows into columns again have you a doubt okay let's take another example another example is a matrix say b elements are 0 5 and 8 Three elements are there. Zero, five, eight. You have counted the elements. Okay, it is three. So the elements are basically three. What is the value of m? M is what? Number of rows. How many rows? First row, second row, third row. Again, first row, second row, third row. So what is m? M is basically three. what is n n is columns how many columns columns means the vertical thing only one vertical na so it is n is equal to 1 now if you have m if you have n what is the value of m multiplied by n it is 3 ones are 3 match it 3 here 3 here so the golden rule that you have understood now is what that if you have the number of elements you can find out that the number of elements is always equal to number of rows into number of columns but what was the heading that we were supposed to study in this video it was order so now i tell you what is order order is simply m into n that means the number of rows into number of columns so this m into n is read as m by n 
by by right and this m by n is what it is order that's it this is the story that means if in this example i see how many rows two rows right so it is two how many columns one two so it is two so this two by two is the order and two into two if you do four is the number of elements right second example how many rows one two three we saw three rows how many columns one so m by n means three by one so i'll write here three by one right so you enclose this order thing in the subscript at the right hand side lower bottom right hand side is the order written in this example let's look now we had m rows we had n columns what becomes my order this time it becomes rows into columns so i'll write m into n and that is my order simply whatever you find here is basically the order and if you multiply that and obtain a new number that becomes my number of elements or the number of entries so in this video we saw basically what do you mean by order we also saw some more insights to some terminology based on matrices in the next video we'll be seeing some numerical problems on the same topic